So you might be wondering, Sari, what are you doing in Florida? Let me explain. A couple weeks before we actually went to Florida, a friend of ours offered us a round trip flight with him on his plane. He was already making the trip to transport some other friends and he had a few extra seats and thought of us. We weren't sure originally if the trip would work as far as life and busy schedules, but at the last minute, we were delighted to be able to say yes and hop along. This trip would have never happened without him. To add icing to the cake, my husband's family was leaving the same day on a commercial flight to spend a mini vacation down in the same area of Florida. Because of this, we decided to keep our plans under wraps for several weeks so that we could show up and surprise them in the most epic way. So here begins our 52 hour vacation in Florida and Operation Surprise My In-Laws. What do you think? Will we be successful? Okay, so we're here at this beautiful Airbnb in Florida. My in-laws were coming for a mini vacation and it just so happened that a man from our church who has his own plane offered us a ride down for the weekend just for like three days if that so why would you not say yes so we totally did we have been traveling all day uh we waited on our rental vehicle for like forever long and then we almost got locked out of our airbnb so it's been a long day and it was like four o'clock before the boys ever got naps we still haven't sprung the surprise on my in-laws hoping that they did not get too suspicious <laughs> we'll see if we actually pulled it off We were thrilled to be able to stay at this beautiful Airbnb that was very boho style. The best part of it was it sported three bedrooms, which meant the boys were able to have normal nap times, which was an absolute lifesaver over this busy, busy weekend. Okay, so we totally pulled off the surprise. We waited till it got dark and then we went over to where my in-laws were staying in their motorhome. And then we just, it on the door. So by the time that my father-in-law got the blinds open to see who is there, like, hi, it's just us. <laughs> it was great. They were so shocked and we were so glad to, to, that, that we were able to keep it a secret because we were positive that my mother-in-law was getting suspicious and come to find out she had zero clue. So we're going to call it a success. Griffin's like, here. give me the drumstick. <laughs> I got up early this morning to go for a walk. It is 55 degrees, which is significantly warmer than home, but also too cold to wear um, shorts for the boys and I'm in a sweater. But it is just lovely. These trees look so Southern to me. Were you already awake? <laughs> Did you sleep good? <laughs> you gonna go have breakfast with grandma and grandpa? Yeah?
Not to be parted with the bear though. <laughs> So back home, we have Dirtouch from Essenhaus, and this is like the Florida, Florida version. We had unintentionally planned this trip perfectly as there were so many people from our home congregation also in Florida at this time, and we were able to meet together for breakfast and have such a good time of fellowship. The Ringling Museum was well worth a visit. We paid the $5 admission just to walk the gardens and that was perfect because we didn't have gobs of time anyway and there was so much to see in just the gardens that I'm not sure that we even saw everything. So we have officially been here for 24 of our roughly 49 hours, like from landing to taking off to go home again. It's gonna be around 49 to 50 some hours actually here in Florida. Um, and I really don't know what to think about it because Sarasota is where we are and it is not what I was envisioning. Like. I knew there was a large like Amish Mennonite population here, especially over the over the winter. Um, but I was expecting like small town <laughs> kind of slow vibes. Um, and it's not that way. Like it is like hustling and sprawling and there's people just everywhere and traffic and just town upon town upon town. And I'm I'm a little blown away by it, but we've had a really, really great time. Um, so this morning we went to Der Dutchman and had breakfast with a bunch of our church people. There's so many church people here right now. So we all got together for breakfast and that was great. And then we drove around Pinecraft for a while just to see everything, not everything, but just get a feel of the area. We went to the shuffleboard um, <laughs> arena, <laughs> the, the shuffleboard courts. And then we went to the Ringling. Um, we just walked the gardens. We didn't even have time to do anything inside anyway, um, but it was gorgeous. It was absolutely beautiful, but there was so much to see. The gardens were just amazing. And uh, the architecture is just absolutely gorgeous. I, I love that that old style coming through. And yeah, it's, it's been a really great trip. So we're, we're entering into the last half of our trip. It's gonna be short and sweet, um, but we're really good at making the best of, of a short trip, so. Here's, here's for the next several hours. Okay, so the boys are taking naps and Jared and Isaiah are hanging out at the Airbnb. So I decided that I was gonna come out and explore a little bit on my own. Um, I decided to come into Pinecraft because I really wanted to try that uh, famous coffee shop, Postal 98. Everybody goes there, all the cool kids go there. Um, so I wanted to see if it was you know, worth the hype. So I went. Anyway, I am also going to explore Yoder's. I think there's a fresh produce place and I feel like there was a garden or something that I wanted to see as well, but I'm just gonna see what I see and have fun out on my own.
Being from northern Indiana, I'm pretty used to the sands of Lake Michigan, and boy was I in for a surprise with the Siesta Key sand. The sand was so white and so soft that I couldn't get over it. Flamingo's not quite sure what to do. Oh. <laughs> Ash, you want to feed one? Oh. You want to feed one? <laughs> 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 oh, it's so cold! Look, there's a flamingo! Let me go over the bacon. Come, I've got food for you. Come, 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 I've got food for you. So there you have it, roughly 52 hours after we left, we are back here in snowy northern Indiana where it is currently 12 degrees. So um, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit chilly. <laughs> anyway, thank you for following along. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, it's too cold out here. I'm going back in. Why did the air hit my face? Why did the air hit my face? Why did the air hit my face?